Let me give you a prelude to my keynote tonight. If you control your thinking, your life choices, and your opportunities will be unlimited and stretch beyond your vivid Im imagination. But first, Director Marjorie Fuller and Assistant Director Bruce Mitchell of the Center have done an exceptional job of providing all of us with an educational programs throughout the year that are, number one, they're educational. Number two, they are social, cultural, and best yet, doggone affordable. <laughs> that to me is a value proposition that in my book is wonderful, and I would like for each of you to give them an applause for this whole year. to graduate again and sit out in the audience with all of you so that I could go through this ceremony tonight from a graduate's perspective. When I began talking tonight, I first asked you what life you will live. Now that you have passed every academic course and class to complete your degrees successfully, now that you have listened to every lecture that your dean said you had to listen to respectfully and you attended that one or maybe two parties over the past few years joyfully i said that one or two because i see vice president ken gray is in the room and i see associate provost elizabeth dooley is in the room so you know we won't talk about those other parties. <laughs> and in fact, um, I'm an attorney, and so I'm bound by the duty of confidentiality. Well, actually, that is only relevant if you were my client. And I don't think I see any clients in the room tonight, <laughs> so I might have to tell. <laughs> so tonight's celebration is named after Dr. Carter G. Woodson, a renowned scholar, historian, author, faculty member, and journalist who was originally educated in Fayette County, West Virginia. Most of you have celebrated Black History Month and you know of his works because he pioneered Black History Week. It was originally called Negro History Week in 1926 <coughs> and later he became cited as the father of Black History. I became familiar with his contributions as a teenager when the block of vacant land on 95th Street in Halstead uh, was raised up and built up to become the Dr. Carter G. Woodson Regional Library. And there was an auditorium and actually a performance, uh, it had performance rooms too. We were very, very proud of that library, which was a very safe place for me and other young people in the 1970s. It remains a safe place where young people today can go to read, to perform, and to think. Dr. Dr. Watts Woodson spoke and wrote often of getting an education, self-reliance, and political activism. He gave us a clue that how you think will impact your future. Woodson's famous quote in The Miseducation of the Negro, released in 1933, ties thoughts to action. If you can control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. Had Dr. Woodson lived in today's era, I do believe that he would have definitely included women too. To fully understand the breadth of what he was saying, and uh, you can go, of course, get the book and read eight, pages 84 to 85. There's a full passage about this topic. But I would say for tonight, reflect on three words, control, thinking, and actions. Control relates to choices, choices that you will make. And thinking calls for something more than just receiving knowledge 
and methodically giving back information. Otherwise, you and I would like be like an Apple or HP computer, one that gets digital messages and spits back information. You were not given a drive-through knowledge and something that is only consumed and gone forever. You have an education that is broader than an ATM drive-through. Rather, your education provides you with the opportunity to obtain and share wisdom. As poet William Cowper eloquently said in 1785, knowledge is proud that he has learned so much. My translation is, we are full and we are satisfied. But Cowper goes on to say, but wisdom is humble that he knows no more. Translation, so when you truly think, you have wisdom and it humbles you. Imagine me trying to debate any of you in your area of expertise. I just might get humbled. But with me, I am curious. I want to know more. My father used to say, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought him back. <laughs> So as a faculty member here at WVU, I believe, I truly believe that the education you have received is one that Dr. Woodson would have commended. No miseducation in the design. There are a variety of excellent classes, programs, organizations that would compel you to think that you have all accomplished and completed. Am I right? Right. 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 Yet. Dr. Woodson might go further and propose the design of an African and an African-American curriculum that was year long, if he were here today and to give us guidance. Of course, that is a topic for another day, maybe another couple of hours that we don't have the time for tonight. Because to, the time tonight is we want to talk about you tonight. So this evening, as we gather to celebrate your extraordinary present accomplishment of an imminent graduation at WVU, I call upon you to think wisely about your future. If you do so, then your life will lead to amazing things and events. Some of you, I do share a, back, a common background and interest. Those of you who gradu are graduating from the law school, uh, those of you who majored in economics, and those of you who focus on entrepreneurship. To you, I say welcome to these professions, and I look forward to passing the baton in law, economics, and entrepreneurship to you. And one day, that will be your profession of the future. For those of you in fields that I did not study, but wish I did, remember I'm curious, such as natural resource economics, education, engineering, public health, communication, psychology, political science, can I get a woo-woo in here? <laughs> <laughs> Journalism, and the arts and the sciences, you also deserve great admiration and applause. The future is waiting for your amazing contributions and I hope that each of you will continue to work together to develop solutions for our society and the globe. I am confident that you have attained a valuable education which will guide you to the right choice, choices about your life. Wisdom is the tool that will allow you to control your own thinking and direct your future actions. So in your wisdom, while you are making those decisions about your future life choices, take some advice from Dr. Mae Jameson. Dr. Mae Jameson was the first African-American woman in space, as well as an astronaut, a physician, and a college professor. Here's what she said. Don't let anyone rob you of your imagination, your creativity or your curiosity. It's your place in the world. It's your life. 
Go on and do all you can with it and make it the life you want to live. So tonight, I congratulate you. Congratulations, congratulations. Think creat creatively, seek wisdom, and share your wisdom with the world. Very good. That's my wife. <laughs>